Hi friends, today we are going to see the Stone Age and the Stone Age tools. If we saw a shiny object buried in the ground, what would we do to take it out? We would scrape it out with our fingers. If that did not work, we might try to dig it out with a twig or stick. If that too did not work, we would have to look for a pointed stone. That should do the job. But, if it still doesn't, then we would have to get an iron rod to dig. The following four factors determine our choice of tools. Availability of resources. Minimal use of time and energy. Maximum efficiency skill of handling tools which is acquired through practice. Apes like the chimpanzee also use stones to break seeds and nuts. They use sticks to stir the ants out from ant hills to catch them. Humans, too, have always been using tools such as bones, stones, dry twigs and sticks as tools. With continuous and minute observation, experimentation and their inborn imagination, humans learned that they could sharpen rods, bones, sticks and stones into tools to carry out their tasks more efficiently. They also learned that they could give these objects any shape they desired. In the previous lesson, we saw that stone tools were found with the remains of Homo habilis. We can say that he made them because they were found near his remains. But, did he make only stone tools? The answer to this question is no. Because he made tools from other materials as well. However, of the tools made by humans thousands of years ago, only the stone tools can be found today. Tools made from bone are rarely found. But since twigs and sticks decompose easily, we do not find any tools made from them. Stone Age Tools The period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the Stone Age. Stone Age. The Stone Age is divided into three periods on the basis of the shape and the type of tools found. Paleolithic Age. Mesolithic Age. Neolithic Age. Paleolithic Age. Homo habilis and Homo erectus, who belong to the Old Stone Age, both made their tools using the percussion technique. This technique involves beating or striking one large pebble against another to obtain stone flakes. The first tools made in the Old Stone Age with this technique were crude. Only one side of those tools had a sharp edge. Such tools are known as choppers. The removing minute flakes from bigger flakes could only be used for breaking nuts or bones. The tools made by Homo habilis were of this kind. They indicate that Homo habilis had not yet learnt to hunt. Flakes of stone would be produced while shaping his tools. He used the flakes for scraping meat from hide, for chopping meat and other foodstuffs, for sharpening wooden sticks, etc. Tools like the hand axe and cleave made by Homo erectus are more proportionate and symmetrical than the choppers made by Homo habilis. A proportionate and symmetrical tool has to be mentally visualized first. Only then it is possible to make it. Homo erectus could mentally visualize his tools even before he actually shaped them.
to obtain stone flakes. He used things like antlers as hammers. He further sharpened the edges of those flakes by scraping off smaller pieces to make scrapers with very sharp edges. It means that Homo erectus was using different tools for different tasks according to the demand of the task. With his improved tools, Homo erectus could have a greater variety of food because he could now hunt a variety of big and small animals. These included mainly the deer, bison, rabbit, etc. The Neanderthal man made further progress in tool making techniques. He began to make smaller tools. Homo sapiens brought about a revolution in the technique of making tools. He devised a technique of obtaining long and narrow blades of stone. Made various implements like the knife, scraper, borer, chisel, etc. He also began to use ivory and rare stones of the quartz variety. Significant progress in techniques of making tools, gaining knowledge of his environment, obtaining food. This enabled him to stay in one place for a longer period of time. Groups of Homo sapiens had begun to build huts and live in them started celebrating social festivals. Many artistic objects and cave paintings created by Homo sapiens were possibly meant for these festivals. Homo sapiens had started using ornaments to adorn themselves. Beads from the time of Homo sapiens, made of shells, bones and animal teeth have been found. Thus, the beginnings of human culture go back to the Old Stone Age. Remains of tools from the Old Stone Age have been found in India at various places, from Kashmir to Tamil Nadu. The Narmada in the vicinity of Hath Nora, a village near Hoshangabad in Madhya Pradesh. However, not many human fossils from the Old Stone Age have been found in India. Fossils of a human skull and the collarbone of an Old Stone Age woman were found on the banks. Besides that, the fossilized skull of a child from the Stone Age was found at a village near Puducherry. Some remains of Old Stone Age humans have also been found in Afghanistan and Sri Lanka. Gang Appa near Nashik and Cherki Navaza near Navaza are among the well-known Old Stone Age sites in Maharashtra. Gang Appa is on the banks of the Godavari River and Cherki Navaza is in the Bravara Basin. Middle Stone Age, Mesolithic Age They domesticated the dog. Due to changes in the climate and the environment in the Middle Stone Age, the way of life of humans had begun to change. Besides hunting, Homo sapiens had started to harvest food grains that grew in the wild and to domesticate animals. Their diet now included various plant foods. They also began to settle in one place for a part of the year. Domestication of sheep and goats also goes back to this period. Taking all this into account, it appears that Homo sapiens now needed several different types of tools that were light in weight and durable for a variety of tasks such as hunting, fishing, harvesting, cutting of trees, etc. He used to make implements like the knife and the sickle by firmly fixing a row of blades as small as fingernails into a groove in a bone or a piece of wood. Many sites of the Middle Stone Age have been found in India. 
among them Bega in Rajasthan, Bhimbetka in Madhya Pradesh, Langnaj in Gujarat and Patain in Jalgaon and district in Maharashtra are the well-known ones. New Stone Age, Neolithic Age. In this period, stone tools that were polished to give a smooth, shiny finish were made for the first time. As this was a new type of tool making technique, this period was named the New Stone Age. By the time of the New Stone Age, agriculture and domestication of animals or animal husbandry had become a routine way of life. Hunting was no more the major means of obtaining food. It became secondary to agriculture and animal husbandry. There are many sites of New Stone Age culture in India, especially along the Ganga River and in South India. Happy learning my dear friends. <laughs>